Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So today we're going to be talking all about Terraria 1.4 Master Mode and discussing the recent information that we've heard that should give a bit more clarification as to what exactly the mode will be. It was first announced in the Journey's End trailer and if you think back to then, not much was shown about Master Mode, only a couple of boss fights where the player dies pretty quickly and we could see that each boss had about 30% extra health. Well, because of that vagueness, it's led to a lot of theories out there about what exactly this mode will be. I know a good chunk of the community is really hoping for some new boss AI, maybe some extra damage, maybe some new weapons or accessories. You know, a real incentive to play this mode that isn't just for that harder difficulty, you know, a reward for your efforts, basically. Well, we recently found out on Discord that Relogic have some slightly different ideas for how Master Mode is going to work, and I think it's really important to hear this now so that we can prepare our expectations for when it finally launches with 1.4. But before we jump into all of that, I actually have some very minor spoilers to talk about really briefly. These all came out a couple of days ago. I've just been very busy this week, and I've been meaning to talk about this for a while. So it's kind of dated, but I don't feel like anybody's spoken about it on YouTube anyway. So if you're not a frequent Discorder, you probably haven't seen it. So let's jump into it real quick. So this first screenshot is in regards to petting the dog in Terraria. If you didn't know about this, back in December during the Jingle Jam, we got a brand new spoiler that shows you can now pet the dog in Terraria. Once people saw it, they were a little bit concerned that the dog might actually be able to die, and that's because a health bar was shown, and I said in that video it's most likely that this dog will be an NPC rather than treated as a projectile like most pets in Terraria, and Senex actually confirmed this to be the case. She said on Discord, you can now pet the town NPC dog. So what I'm assuming based on the spoiler we got in October 2018, you're now going to be able to have a town in Terraria where if you have a certain number of NPCs in one area, it classifies as a town. And then maybe based on the number of NPCs or some random factor, you will either have a cat or a dog in Terraria. And I imagine much like the angler, instead of dying, the dog will say, the dog has left Terraria. You know, it says run away. It's gone to live on that farm where most dogs go. Do you know what I mean? So that's pretty interesting and it's cool to get some confirmation about that. Senex then also said we might need to add a badger pet into Terraria. So this is in relation to Badger, the Terraria Twitch streamer, who recently had a viral Terraria speedrun during this year's Games Done Quickly, an event where he raised over $30,000 for cancer prevention. Now Relogic have done this in the past where they've added these little shout outs, big or small, to some of the personalities in the community, myself included. And I feel like this is a really great way to honor a pretty underrated Twitch streamer, if I'm just being honest. I really like Badger, and I wish that more people would go and check him out. So I'm going to leave a link to him down below, and hopefully in the future, we will see this Badger pet. I think that would be awesome. I really feel like, considering it's such a big accomplishment, and all of those years of practice to even get to that very moment, I feel like it would be an awesome addition to Terraria. But like Senex said, they're thinking about it, you know, stuff doesn't always work out, so if it doesn't happen, that's okay, but I feel like a lot of the community would think it's pretty damn awesome. Alright, it's finally time to talk about Master Mode and the clarification the community kind of needed to hear. So somebody on Discord was like, hey Senex, what's Master Mode basically? And Senex responded, mostly stat changes. Master Mode isn't meant to be like Expert, it is meant for the diehards who want a challenge. So that really sums it up for me, exactly what this mode will be. It will be bosses with larger health pools who do extra damage. Maybe we'll see a couple of debuffs at this point. I do actually doubt that. I was actually present in the chat while this went down. So I said something along the lines of, well, you know, my theory for master mode was new boss AI, maybe a couple of weapons and accessories. And Senex responded, I am in favor of drops, but not weapons or accessories. Those would make it easier. And I feel like she's got a, a pretty great point there. That is true. Like, how do you balance a harder difficulty when you're giving people the tools to really combat that difficulty? It's a bit hard to really, you know, balance that out. 
But I really do believe that this was the perfect time to give that sort of clarification as to exactly what master mode will be. It's more in line with The Legend of Zelda, for example, where it's essentially the same game, but the stats are slightly different. So it might change the way you play the game. Maybe you'll do a little bit better dodging. Maybe you won't go to certain parts of the world at certain points in the game. And maybe you'll build bigger and better arenas. It's been a couple months now, and I feel like the Terraria community at large has just been theorizing that Master Mode will be essentially a new version of Expert Mode, and you can understand why when you look at Terraria's history. Terraria 1.1, back when the game first came out, was essentially Expert Mode. It was the base game with some new mechanical versions of the bosses that we'd all been fighting, with some new armor and some new weapons and some new stuff to craft. It's kind of like Expert Mode. And then of course, Expert Mode came along and it changed the way bosses work. Their AI was different. You got some extra rewards. You got an extra accessory slot. So I feel like we're all just waiting for Master Mode to be the same thing. But necessarily, it doesn't have to. And it's nice to know that Relogic had a certain goal that they wanted to achieve and they're working towards it. And I'm glad that we all know what that goal is. Instead of downloading the update and going, all right, okay, I'm ready for Skeletron to have seven hands and a laser beam for an eye. Do you know what I mean? Relogic could essentially reinvent the wheel and just do expert mode all over again. But it's nice that instead of that, we'll likely see a new boss, maybe even a couple as just part of the base game that will give us all of that fresh boss action that I feel like we've all been craving. That's why we want this different version of master mode so bad. And of course, modders out there can feel free to do whatever they want with vanilla bosses. I've played plenty of them on Chippy's couch and we've seen vanilla bosses change all of the time and it's always a lot of fun. So if you don't get what you want out of master mode, a modder will likely make it, which is the coolest part about our community as a whole. It's also really important to note that with any Discord screenshot that we actually show, Things are always subject to change, so Master Mode might not end up being exactly what Senex says here. We're so lucky that we have a developer that will jump in and talk about the development process of the game. It's something we shouldn't take for granted and also take for gospel, because of course they're taking a little bit of time out of their day to talk about what the current opinion is. And of course, stuff always changes. You never know what the final product will be. So you know, just something to keep in mind, right? So I think that really sums up the information that we got, but now we need to theorize about exactly what kind of drops that we're gonna get from Master Mode. I have a couple of ideas that I would love to see. First up, I would really like it if we could get certain vanity items from completing Master Mode. For example, maybe a Master Mode cape that the character can wear that has some kind of special effect as its trail that's unlike any other vanity outfit that we've got in Terraria right now. Something really special that when you see, you're like, all right, that's master mode. Or maybe even a giant placeable monument in the world. Maybe like a big moon lord statue that's not made of stone. Maybe it's like, kind of like animated maybe. I don't know, right? I feel like I'm writing my own Terraria fan fiction here, but I feel like that would be very cool. I just want something that says, Boom, this player has beaten master mode. They get one item or maybe a couple items. They're just like, okay, this player's put in the extra work. They've gone the extra distance and here we go. We're going to celebrate it. So I feel like that's what Senex is trying to get across with the whole drops. So we'll have to see. I feel like this would be a fun time for you guys to leave what your drop would be in the comment section down below. I'll be down there. I'll give your comment a heart if I think it's a cool idea. But for today's video, guys, that's going to be about it. If this is your first time here on Chippy Gaming, maybe consider clicking the subscribe button. I talk about Terraria news here, and of course, when the patch comes out, we'll be talking about a lot more than that. But that's about it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.